so to fully describe a displacement both the distance moved and the direction of the movement must be stated so a directed line segment called a vector is used to represent this distance and direction so here we have the line segment AB represents the vector AB this is written as AB with an arrow overhead to indicate the direction the length of the line segment from A to B represents the distance and the direction of the arrow indicates the direction of this distance. Some examples of vector quantities are given here. The first one is displacement. Displacement is the shortest distance from your starting point to the finishing point. Let's say for example you were travelling from Limerick to Dublin but you had to drop a friend to Galway on the way. Your displacement is the straight line, the shortest distance from Limerick to Dublin and this direction is northeast. It doesn't matter that you went to Galway in between. Your displacement is the shortest straight line distance between where you started from and where you finished. So here is an example. Suppose you were to walk first from A to B and then you're walking from B to C. Your overall displacement is from A to C and it's in this direction. Now to figure out the distance between A and C you use Pythagoras' theorem. You should check this out for yourselves. This will give you 5 meters. Now because displacement is a vector quantity you must state the size but also the direction. This direction is north east. So what is the difference between distance and displacement? Well, If you were stating the distance this would be, your first you walked 4 metres and then you walked 3 metres. So your overall distance was 4 plus 3, which is 7 metres. Distance is a scalar quantity, meaning you just give the numerical answer, which would be 7 metres. There is no direction involved. Whereas displacement is a vector quantity, therefore you must give both the size and the direction. Velocity is also a vector quantity, as both the size and direction must be stated. For example, velocity could be 60 kilometers per hour west. As it's a vector quantity, you must give both the size and the direction. So velocity is really speed in a given direction. Acceleration and force are also vector quantities, as you must state both the size and direction of both acceleration and force.